Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, our friends from Africa. Um, welcome to our new year, new beginnings, King's Council and Trust um, Town Hall Gathering. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us today. We're super excited. We've got an incredible um, new agenda in store. And um, I just wanted to start out with sharing the, the power of us coming together of, even though this is called King's Council and Trust, this is really where the kings and queens get to come together and start taking our crown back, start stepping into um, who we are here to live and be and, um, and connect and collaborate as a community, as those kings and queens that we're here to do, you know, here to be, and also being in our throne, taking that throne of, of authority and sovereignty and, um, and our mission and purpose. And so thank you again for being here. Welcome kings and queens um, into uh, today's gathering. So as we get started, we're here connecting people for one purpose. Many of you know, these are, are the, the various services that are available with King's Council and Trust. Um, at the bottom there, you can see the contact us information. I believe most of you are here because you're involved in some part of this or many part of this of what we're doing. Uh, but if you're new and you're wanting to learn more, please go to that uh, website down below and I'll, I'll drop that in the chat here shortly um, and let us know what it is that you want to learn more about. Even if you've been here for a while and you're like, what is family gov governance? I want to learn more. Um, please reach out and let us know. So our agenda today, it did not save my notes. So you're going to read something and I'm going to tell you something a little different. So we're going to review the mission and vision. We are doing 2023 updates. So we've got some, some things that, you know, we've closed out this year. We've got some new things that are coming on the line. And so um, we'll be sharing all of that uh, with our current initiatives and things that are happening in 2023. We'll be closing out with a breakout session and networking and opening it up for a Q and A at the end. Now don't wait for Q and A. Like if there's something where that's being said, please drop it in the chat. Um, you know, ask the questions as we as we go along. David, do you mind letting people into the 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 room? If you yeah, would be trying to handle, yeah, thank I'm you. To, yeah. Um, or anybody That's that has that that piece, that'd be wonderful. So I'm going to pause just for a moment, and if you would, as you're reading this, I love to hear what stands out for you this month as we're getting into this new beginning. Put in the in the chat something that that is significant for you. Uh, maybe it's a, a, a part of this mission and vision that you're carrying into 2023, but um, just for a little bit of connection or, to this mission and vision, please share what stands yeah, out for you. Did you get that info? So for me, this month, it's really fulfilling God's will and to become effective in whatever I do or we do. So um, each month I find that as I read this every time that something speaks to me a little bit differently, but that's what stands out today. And I'm not seeing, you guys aren't participating today. There we go. Okay, Sherry, I see it now. <laughs> let me know, let me know. Um, and we're all here under this incredible guidance, um, who many of us believe are building that ark, um, building that that vessel, the, the channels for us to be able to um, really be in this new global system that, of wealth creation that's being um, created. And so thank you so much, Dale. I'm gonna turn this over to you as we um, hear some of these updates. Very cool. One thing I noticed on the re-registration for everybody's benefit, if you don't make it to the end, February 14th, I noticed is one of the dates for town hall. And normally it would be, except that one of the most important dates you need to keep this year is with your significant other, because that's Valentine's Day. We're, we're giving everybody the, the afternoon off, have a lunch date, a dinner date, an afternoon date, just take your significant other and, and celebrate what what it means to to have one another and uh there can't be any excuse from your spouse or significant other that what you're doing here isn't special and that you weren't remembered we helped remember you guys remember them so without further ado happy new year everybody 
uh, we've got a few cool things, but not to get too far into the weeds, but uh, mostly, uh, you know, what you want to call housekeeping items. And that one of those things that we know to be true, that if God is doing a new thing, the old thing doesn't look like the new thing. Could be similar, but it's new. It's improved. It's better. And so one of the reasons why we have some confusion today is our communications we learned last year, I'll just say it, leave a lot to be desired. So for 2023, one of the main themes that we're working on across the board with our projects, with our partners and beyond is our communications. And mostly it's not the people, but the systems. We want to have better and more redundant systems because we just simply are to a place anymore. We can't trust email. It ends up in one place or another. There's multiple emails. Uh, you may be registered for one, but not the other. Uh, and there's a lot of different platforms that we do that just don't talk to each other very well. We're working on that. Uh, everything from the first point of contact when you hear from a friend how you arrived here today all going to be greatly improved because when you get excited you, you want to share but sometimes you might forget that one little detail about actually how to get into the room we're working on it and uh, beyond that uh, we're so excited because of one of the last great initiatives we pulled together last year we haven't done in 12 years and we were pretty successful uh, in inviting everyone that we've ever worked with a project that we gave them 30 days that uh, if you're ready to receive, um, we need to hear from you and we need a two page and we need a few other items. Unfortunately, what we also learned, and that's gonna be one of these updates we wanna share about is our advisory board council. We, we take that pretty seriously. In order to take your company public, you've got three months of a lot of work. It's get quiet, go to work before that bell rings. And what we found, unfortunately, is there was a lot of really great projects that if they were just given a little bit more time, could have made the finish line. And uh, so we're doing away with uh, one of those things in, in the advisory board council. We used to give folks a 30-day engagement. Um, it doesn't work. More than 95% of the time, we found that if the team's not already there, they don't already have enough walking around money to get to the next gas station. They don't already have stuff in place ready to receive. There's just so much work to get done that uh, we just we we don't want to set anyone up to for failure. You know, our a loving father doesn't do that with us. We certainly don't want to do that in administrating with you. So we're kind of getting back to what we've believed or what we've thought to, to be more effective. But uh, we also wanted to give folks the chance to, to run. And look, if you show up and you're, and you're ready to run, there's nothing's gonna hold you back. Uh, we also know that there's nothing wrong with, with being an overachiever. And you know, if you love to run, run. Uh, but for most, they need guidance. They need some mentorship. They need ideas to, you know, to, to, to kind of a safe harbor to bounce off of. And that's one of the big things that we have going to be upgrading our advisory board council on this year. So anyone with a project, and if you don't have a project yet, but you want to start a project, maybe it's been sitting on the sidelines. Maybe we've been, you know, you're finally fed up that after a couple of years, you're not going back to work as usual. It's finally time for you to begin what your purpose here on this planet is, you know, lean in. And with that, uh, you're going to get great support in terms of not just putting that plan together, but uh, one of the things we found was most beneficial and one of the more common stumbling blocks for people is money. Most of you, if you've never raised money or if you have, you haven't raised money this way because we're not using conventional securities of, of private equity and debt and interest. We're doing something else that requires a new mindset. And so included with every advisory board council engagement is a capital coach. Shannon just happens to have 
uh, not just a great body of knowledge herself with what she's done and raised more than you know a million herself you know for anyone that's just done that but also the language you need to start talking to people because most people if they knew how to talk about money well you'd already have it money wouldn't be an issue would it really See, when you learn how to be able to finance your dreams, you're never going to worry about money again, ever. And I assure you, you won't be ever using a central bank again, ever. One of the core things that we're talking about doing here is learning to bank not just on self, which has the whole life insurance you know, idea, good idea. We want to make it better. And this is learning to bank on each other. This is an intentional community and of economic prosperity. That means everybody's kind of roll up their sleeves and we all get stuff to, to get done. And that's just one thing. A second thing that we found that was really exciting for the first time ever to get all of our projects, a really nice first look to make a really high bar of a first impression is that we now require a video. So for most of us, be, before we got on Zoom a couple of years ago, most of us didn't want to get in front of a camera. I personally, I didn't really care much. We've been doing virtual worldwide impact, you know, uh, projects since 2010. We didn't miss a beat, you know, and the, the help of Shannon and what she's doing with Media Magic and reinventing companies and helping to tell their story, you know, um, it really is making a difference. Some folks are paying attention, but wouldn't it be cool to have your summary with a nice little explainer commercial you know most of you when you don't watch football and and you know the super bowl this time of year everybody still talks about the commercials so for ten thousand dollars of basically a minute you get to tell your story that's included now in our advisory board council engagement which we never did before but was a huge success and pretty soon Within the next town hall, we'll be sharing what a composite commercial looks like, not just one project, but what would, can you imagine all of those projects coming together? It's almost like talking about the Olympics or something, you know, how everybody's here to compete and, but to compete well in the spirit of sportsmanship and impact and to God be the glory in all that we do. That's pretty cool. There isn't in any investment mutual fund that's doing that. There's a lot of red tape that goes with that, but we're not in that jurisdiction. So another thing that we found that was really helpful is not just people not knowing how to talk about money, but more specifically, to not understand the sources of cash. Okay, there's three. And the uses of cash. And if it's not moving, cash flow, you're dead. It's kind of like blood. There's just enough in the body. There's no more. There's no less. Everything's just in time. Lose a pint. Watch what happens. Have more than enough. Watch what happens. So, and isn't it so? The same thing with, with cash. I would purport to all of you, you don't need to be making a million dollars a year to be doing very well. But most of us, we don't trust our economic systems. We don't trust ourselves. We don't trust our partners. We don't trust our spouses. And as a result, we feel the need to hoard stuff and hold things and save things. And yet there's a great parable, and it's one of my favorites, about how the, the business owner comes back after he's divvied up his portfolio with all of his, call them money managers. He's checking on his portfolio. He admonishes this one guy for doing nothing with it. He said, the very least you could do with your money is to put it in the banking systems. The very least you could do was get a, a big, big to get a fractional return. For most of us, if, if we profess that Christianity is truly our faith, none of us, I dare say, none of us are really banking the way Jesus taught us to be banking. All of us have a lot of work to do. If we're going to get on that protocol, because most of us, we have fear of loss. We're concerned about taxes, rightfully so, but most of us don't know what's the Lord's or what's Caesar's. 
We talk about that. That's all baked into the curriculum here because we're about introducing a new and better way. We're not anti-monopoly, just to be clear. It's a cool game. You have to learn the basics. In the end, it all goes back in the box. Over here, you get to create and work on your legacy while you're very much alive. It's not about charitable remainder planning. It's about charitable living planning. We call it strategic philanthropy. It's about getting smarter about what you're already doing in your for-profit business or your not-for-profit business. I would purport to you, let's throw out the for-profit or the not-for-profit altogether. Let's talk about cash flow. Because whether you're making profit or not, if there's no cash flowing, you got nothing. You're dead. You may as well have a call it a hobby. My question is, how's that working for you? How much longer are we going to go? For most people, it's about 40, 50 years before they have that screech of a midnight crisis. And we're asking the question, is this as good as it gets? Is this is all I'm here for? Stop it. Please. There's something better. There's something different. And if somebody invited you here today, or this is the first time, because we're not going to start you know, sharing these videos too, you know, lean in. There's so much more to the, the depth of this iceberg than we can cover in, you know, hours worth of calls. The number of white papers that we've made available, they just will keep you up at night because they will challenge your very core of what you believe to be true. So one of the cool things that uh, Larry's going to talk about here in just a few minutes about is just the cash flow. Because while there may be seven sources of cash, do you know what all of the dials are to watch and keep track of to, to maximize that? You know, because while you may have a bucket, if you've got holes in the bucket, it may as well be a colander, a sieve. You, you strain your spaghetti with. So another cool thing that uh, we found though, we, we owe it all to our, our cooperative marketing uh, covenant partners. We now go by power partners because we're all powerful. You know, the prayer of one to a thousand is when we get together to two to 10 and beyond. Can you imagine that power? We all got on the same page with one another. That's starting to happen. And for those that completed the task last year, uh, we're having a little bit of a summit for those that could afford to get away from the, the regular grind to come meet in Central Florida, spend a few days, you know, break bread together and uh, get serious about what we're doing. Not just one project at a time, but what we're all doing. We're all helping with one another. And as our partners are just beginning to understand that because let's face it, you know, uh, there's a lot of you with skills and talents that you could be provide a consultancy in some shape or form. You could sit on somebody's board. You know, you have skills, you've got talent, you've got former experience. You know, most most folks that, uh, you know, uh, that need a board, um, the, the really smart ones, they've already got one. It's the ones that don't have a board that really need one and they don't even know it yet. I assure you, you don't need to be a better golfer than, than Tiger Woods, but I but Tiger Woods does have a coach. Most great athletes, most great anyone's celebrities, et cetera. They all have got coaches. Where's yours? You can't go create an advisory board, a coaching staff, a mentorship pool for the value that we've put together in our advisory board council and reading. And it's all those power partners that actually come be a part of that. Not just to get you started, but to keep you going. And as a partner, if, if, if your local Bible study is not working for you, if you're, if you're feeling the need to go from, from local to regional, regional to you know, country and beyond, the world is your oyster. What are you waiting for? You know, we're not the only ones doing this. Mr. Wonderful, he's back in another country, uh, another company that's on the Fortune 500 list because there's a lot of folks in the last couple of years that were corporate. They've said, no more. We're not going back to that. We're going to do something else. What are you doing? Because you don't have to just do one at a time. If you thought about maybe two or three, a couple hours a week, that's a nice side hustle. You can do that in the comfort of your 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 flannel shirt and your boxer shorts if you choose. Just don't stand up. And um, anyway, there's lots to explore there. And we've got different options. You know, if it's just referrals, great. 
uh, if it's referrals and you like the, the idea of residual and or the evergreen opportunity of getting involved in some shape or form with what we're doing, all of what we did in last year's town halls, this is another update point for our partner partners. We're creating a whole video kind of learning about us series, why you should consider partners. And we'll have a few examples in there about how the e economics flow, what happens when you make a referral, what happens when somebody else makes an honorarium and how you can benefit. Because if you've never thought about applying your market space uh, skills and talents as a fundraiser in a very for-profit world for your favorite church, charity, synagogue, or otherwise, why not? Think about it. Would you rather go hawk off a few, you know, world's greatest chocolate bars? I would buy a whole box, by the way, but that's not the point. How many chocolate bars do you have to sell to raise $10,000 for your cause? Why not volunteer some of your time? It works here. Everything that we do has an outlook of a harvest within a year. And so part of what we're doing is we're saying, hey, last year's agreements were last year's agreements. This is 2023. All of you that were a partner before, we're going to sign new agreements. We're going to upgrade those agreements and make them better. All of you that were engaged last year with advisory board council, same thing applies. All of you working with King's Council and Trust, same thing applies. All of you that are co-vested with King's Council and Trust, most of you, this might sound nuts, but most of you, even though you've you've participated in an honorarium and our fiduciary services, I'll just throw it out there, $7,500 a year. You can't go into a family office for less than a million in liquid cash sometimes. But all of you that are co-vested with us have averaged better than 1% a week. And if you think about what's happened in the last year and uh, a recent crypto uh, explosion, as if uh, the other one in the previous year wasn't enough. How well did you do? What are you doing with your money? If you're not making 20% a year on your money right now, I wouldn't even be looking at it because you could still be making that, but you understand the water is flowing so fast. That is to say that the dollar is declining in its purchasing power so fast, you cannot outpace the cost of living, call it inflation, call it whatever you want. Why look at anything less? It makes no sense. By the time you pick up the financial magazine about this thing or that thing that did so well last month, that's old news. Why not be relevant and put your money where your mouth is? Invest locally, learn to love on your neighbor, which by the way, we've got one of those tonight. Learn more about that in a minute. But um, can we all think about it and resolve to do better with our cash, to what's left of it this year? Just something to think about. But with that, the long awaited app that we've been working on for a long, long time, fortunately, we've got an app for that and it's called the Secure Wallet. It's a phonetic thing, C-Q-R, secure. Uh, Shannon, if you drop that link in there. This is a wallet. Apple doesn't like us right now. They swear we should be a licensed broker dealer in cryptos. No, we're saying if you have a wallet, you can put whatever you want in it. it it's not for buying and selling. It's not a trading platform. It's a wallet already. So, But you can put cryptos in it. You can put cash in it. And you can put all those funky talk tokens we've been talking about with gold or silver, taught, backed by sovereign minted. We're not using Chinese coins, uh, but we are most every other country. If there's a government willing to stand behind their minted coins, which, by the way, are also acceptable in anyone's self-directed IRA, if you've got a qualified retirement plan, we've got an app for that. If you're still interested in you know, preserving your purchasing power, if you're not... I can attest that you will lose it all. They've already been testing this in 12 different areas in terms of rolling out the central digital currency. When that happens, it'll be too late to say. But right now, you've got an app to begin to shift. That's on you. You can't say after this little intro, 
for 2023. You didn't know. Ignorance is not an excuse anymore. You don't like knowledge. Now, if you lack the confidence, that's another thing because you don't get to be here unless somebody loved you enough to invite you. So you will always, always, always be alone. It's not like you just drop a baby on a doorstep and we're an orphanage because that doesn't work here. <clears throat> that's the United Corporation of America. That's more how that works. By the way, with your estate plan, you basically put them on notice. Hey, we got this. We don't need you to take care of us anymore. But for most of us, you know, Social Security knows that 95% of us will live a life and end up in dependency, some shape or form, on friends, family, the state, government, or otherwise. So everything that you've learned is completely false and inadequate about how to create wealth for you, your family, and your kids' kids and generations to come. How long are you going to keep going, doing the same thing, what you've been doing, and hoping for something else? So this wallet, uh, should you decide to entertain that, uh, we've actually got, uh, after I'm done um, speaking here at a higher level, I'll drop in a folder that you can actually, has a few uh, videos of not just opening a wallet, but also putting stuff in your wallet, if you so choose, because this wallet is a decentralized, is on a decentralized exchange platform. This is where the wallet resides. And this is where all of these tokens are uh, ecclesiastically speaking, secure, altogether juris different jurisdiction. More on the legalese another time. Suffice to say, there's a lot of good preview there about what that is, what makes a difference and why that's important for you as a small business owner. Other than maybe David and Larry on the phone, could anyone tell me if you get rewarded in, in silver or gold, as the case may be, sovereign silver and gold, just to be specific for those looking for the details to find out where I could be incorrect. How much of that is reportable to at least the United States uh, Internal Revenue Service? Anyone? None of it. That's right. I wish you had a wallet. I'd give you a, a, a silver token right now. This is like real money. This is real value. Because for everyone else, you're losing 15 or more percent on every, every consultancy gig you give. Why? I dare anyone. I, it, for a long time, part of why we're here is with a divorce where my accountant told us, uh, don't, don't worry about it. Um, he, you know, just file it for an extension. Well, when that came and went, wife disappeared. I was not being in the business. I'm not going to sign under penalty of perjury for anything because we were filing jointly. Show me the law that says that I have to do this because I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I had a real strong internal conflict. This is a part of not just the getting free, but also now acquiring the knowledge to stay free. I'm not saying avoid taxes in the sense that if you owe them, that, that's illegal. But you have a choice is what more to the point. You can take the interstate. It's fast. There's no tolls. Or you can take these really cool other roads that might save you even more time. But you have to pay for that. There's a little, they call it a toll road. We're here, taking a step back, big picture, to show you, to tell you about the toll-free road, but we can't force you to take it. You've got to want to take it and do the work for what it is to stay on that. It's part of a sovereignty thing. We're not about a so-called sovereign movement. Every one of you has that option, but it has nothing to do with the way it's being hawked right now. So... Big picture, understand that there is a wallet, there is a solution for you to get your money out of a banking system and to start doing something with it alternatively. Learn more about it there. There is a new engagement for all of our power partners because if you thought last year was pretty cool, wait till you see what's going on this year. Everybody, again, will get a new invitation. You don't have to sign it, but we're asking everybody to kind of give some serious thought to what's going on uh, at least by the end of this month in January. 
So if you're not on this call, you're picking up on this after the fact. If you happen to know somebody else, hey, you missed it, uh, just let them know that, hey, there's a new agreement coming and uh, stay tuned for that. And thirdly, the advisory board council. Guys, every one of you by now ought to have some shape or form of what, let's just call it a business. Stop having to lean on the man for a paycheck. Our goal was to get folks out of quadrant one and quadrant two. Sorry, you people with a lot of letters after your name. It's a good idea, but you still only own your job. And let's create a real business. Let's have a joint adventure together. That's my invitation to all of you. And so without further ado, Larry, would you tell us some of the highlights of what's cool with cash flow and some of the really nifty software we have to share with uh, our engagements this year? Sure. Shannon, can Thank I you. share my screen? Good points, Dale. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. see. Oh, anyway, um, one of the things regarding our Prado engagement is we're tasked, KCT is tasked to help monitor the progress of the projects. And in addition to the monitoring, um, that includes financial monitoring, what's going on. And so we are monitoring the projects on a monthly basis initially for the first year. And part of that includes um, what I'll call cash flow uh, for just so you all can see what I'm seeing in my mind when I say cash flow. Cash flow to me is, is the, the balance of your cash accounts and even your debt accounts at the end of a period. It can be a day, a week, a month, a quarter, a year. So what is happening between at the beginning and to the, to the end, that's cash flow. And my experience in quite a few years of monitoring the financial performance of a business, which amounted to, and I, I get serious about it because it was life or death for me and my family. The quicker, the faster, the more um, I could understand and interpret one's cash flow enabled me to continue to provide for my family. So it was important. And we see at KCT this, this engagement, this with Prado as an extremely important uh, aspect of who we are as a team, as a community, to help monitor the financial performance of the projects. Um, in addition to that, as equally important it is to uh, respect and honor our engagement with Prado, is to honor and respect our projects and those owners, those teams, because we have, as an advisory board council member, um, an obligation, a responsibility to this relationship, a covenant relationship with these partners uh, to help encourage, assist, and, and see their success and help them with that, their success. It's not like a, a jury in a court where we're casting judgment or condemnation. It's, a, it's to additional eyes and ears as to what's going on to help assist uh, for the success. And in this uh, situation, we have engaged with what is called the cash flow story, which is a software um, that helps banks, businesses, um, and business advisors. In fact, they they're, they have this software that's been going on for I don't know, 10 or 15 years in 96 countries. And uh, both Dale and I are familiar with it. But what it does, it allows us to quickly uh, monitor the progress of a company, to look at the prof profits, the cash flow, and the value of, of the company. And it really is like a Swiss Army knife. And if you 
I think everybody knows what a Swiss Army life is. It has many facets and assets, uh, aspects to it. Uh, and this does too, to help give whoever's monitoring or and, and the business, if they will look into it, um, ways to improve. One of the key aspects of this is, is that KCT, if you look at it this way, is also, I like to say, is a Swiss Army knife-like entity where we have many people uh, and it's growing by leaps and bounds that have special skills and talents that can assist and want to assist and share their skills and talents and gifts with others. So KCT is like a Swiss Army life as well. And one of the aspects, key aspects of this with the ABC board and monitoring the project is that with this tool and with other aspects of what we're doing, it enables us to um, help you leverage your business to a much greater degree. Another aspect of this is from my experience is there's a story in Exodus 17 where the, the Israelite nation under Moses was being attacked. And Moses went to the top of a hill to oversee the battlefield, so to speak. And as long as he had his hands raised up, the Israelites down below on the battlefield were winning. But when he dropped his hands because he was tired, they started losing. So his partners, Aaron and Hur, came along and they kept his hands up and they won. They won the battle and it was teamwork. Well, I look at KCT as part of as Aaron and Hur, helping you to hold up your hands as well to win. And so and another aspect of this is from the monitoring of the cash flow standpoint is that I like to tell clients, if you look at your dollars as each dollar that you have as, as a soldier assigned to you under your leadership to fulfill your vision and mission, how are you going to deploy them? And another tool we use in the project managers or owners know this is cash flow projections. And to see what they're projecting, see, compare that to the actuals on a monthly basis, which is much like uh, this picture here. Many of you have seen movies where you have these military leaders. They're looking over this board and where they can position and move their troops to their advantage because they're like Moses sitting on the top of a hill seeing what's going on. Well, you're projections, cash flow projections, and your um, actual numbers. Okay, you can see what's going on on a frequent basis and where can you move those dollars, those soldiers to better fulfill your um, uh, mission and, and uh, vision. And so one of the key parts to this with the cash flow story is it enables us and enables the companies to review and help reinvent the business model. The business model are all those, those components that enable you to create value, sell, market, and collect the money in, in a manner in which your cash flow, your profit, you spend less than you make, and you have positive cash flow to go and multiply and distribute and create, um, have an influence in society. And so part of the, the, uh, the tool, if you will, of the cash flow story that we are, KCT is providing this for free to each um, project to help them manage their business and help us help manage their business as well. So uh, in effect, the key to the businesses in my experience is what are you doing with your cash flow? the expenditures, the activities that you can monitor, are they leading you to fulfillment of that project, to that vision and mission? Are they taking you away? And part of the process of the monitoring is to help bring you back in alignment uh, 
so that you can fulfill that vision and mission. So that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. So it's cash flow. Thank you, sir. Um, it, there's many good points there. You, you saw all these different tools. You know, for most of us, it, it's not about putting more to the top line. You know, there's an incentive for us all to do that. It, that's easy. You know, but most folks, when when times get tough, they actually cut out the very things that help make the register ring. What, what alternatively stated, what, what Larry's suggestion is, sometimes it's, it just comes, we don't necessarily need to work harder, just work smarter. By focusing on the bottom line, we'll, we'll find, for example, that our average seven-figure business owner type of person, we can help legitimately reduce their federal income tax or avoid it altogether by more than a quarter million dollars a year. They're not making them more. They're actually being smarter. They're plugging those holes and redirecting, shifting that that those funds somewhere else. I don't know who, who else here could maybe use an extra quarter mil. Yeah, maybe maybe you've wanted to finally start your charity for your family or your family foundation or what have you. You get the idea. That's working smart. That's understanding sources of cash, uses of cash, and now for the first time ever, not to be so salesy, but that's included in our advisory board council engagement. So. You got a business, you're looking for mentors to, to take you to Mars and beyond, uh, lean in. Look forward to meeting you this year. And before we do, I know we've got a few events and we'll get to them in a minute, but do we have time for speed dating, Shannon? Is there anything else that um, we should know? Um, we have like eight minutes left. So that's your, your judgment call. I'd like to do it. And uh, it just, if, if everyone could, is there anyone that can't stay? Let's just put it that way. If you Any can't stay, put it in the chat so I don't I don't put you in the in the same room. We'd love to meet you. Bottom line, and we'll have a quick speed dating. Uh, you know, why are you here? Who brought you? What's going on for you? The area of interest. Hopefully, there'll be at least one of our partners somewhere with with a new face. And uh, Janet, take it away. Okay. So when you um, get into your room, um, just, you, you know, find a timekeeper. You want to be about a minute, minute and a half, um, share who you are. If there's a way we can support you, then, then please let them know. And um, it is synchro destiny most of the time of who you are with or, or meeting with. So um, love that exchange with somebody that you've met before, then know that, wow, this may be uh, somebody new to meet. And um, we'll see you back here in just a moment. <laughs> yeah, the, t the time's up. So we're at the top of the hour. Okay. Yay. Hopefully you've met some amazing people in your group and it looks like people are still coming in. <laughs> Wonderful. Here we go. All right. Welcome back. All right. Anybody want to do a quick share? I know we're at the top of the hour. If somebody neat that they met or a new insight or um, anything that stood out from that session. Well, I got to learn a little bit about Larry Macy's business, and it's phenomenal. In the energy space, they convert excess heat to electricity. Go figure that out. Oh, nice. Thank <laughs> you. And, and Stan updated me on his two projects, too. So I, I really had a phenomenal room today. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. Well, the journey keeps going. So we look forward to um, having you here. Please, I saw Russ that you put your information in the chat. Please feel free to put it in the, in the, the chat room. And Dale, I'm going to turn it over to you for any final remarks. You're muted. This is Larry, and I have one question. Where? Who is in Central Florida? Somebody said Central Florida. Oh, okay. Uh, my partner and I will be in that area 
the week of the 23rd of this month. Right. Working on that energy uh, system. I'll drop in my contact info. Yeah, well, Larry, I, Larry, I've Larry, already, Larry. yeah, I invited Larry to, uh, if he's going to be there, if I can make it, I'm going to invite him to our office so he can see where we're at and, you know, get to know each other. He's, Wonder. uh, he was introduced to me by two people, Hugh Ballou and John Leahy. <laughs> <laughs> both, are, question, Larry? Both, both are, both uh, are, um, wonderful colleagues and let's friends. hold questions for larry please do those directly because we are at the top of the hour and we want to honor everybody's time we do want you to connect so please feel free to put those in the wallet um just a reminder that we are going to honor valentine's day next month so uh please know that we'll be here in march but but it doesn't end here we i know many of you are involved in signal groups or or what we have please know um that we you know if there's places that you need help you can go to help dot uh, desk at kingscouncilandtrust.com if there's areas that you need support. Also tonight is our Love Your Neighbor community. Um, that's at 8 p.m. And if you go to the, T-H-E, greatestcommand.com, um, you can meet with uh, an extension of our community, KCT and Business Acceleration Network have come together to really um, support not only businesses, but individuals um, navigate a lot that's been happening in the world. Um, we are getting ready to put that on pause for a little bit. So if you have not been, um, I really strongly invite you to join us tonight because we give a treasure chest of so many goodies um, that King's Council and Trust and Dale has really instrumentally pulled together in the family office. You get access to a lot of stuff that, you know, people show up, they're like, People have spent five thousand dollars just for this this treasure chest. So, um, thegreatestcommand.com. So, Dale, I'm going to turn it over to you. I think those are the, the announcements. I think so. Um, contact us. The link one more time. Anything yep. that you heard today? There's a really cool person you had a chance to meet today. You want to learn more about one thing or another? Uh, the last thing we want to do on this intro is come across like a used watch. <laughs> Uh, salesman. There's many reasons with which to get involved. Very few people are involved in all of them, um, but we look forward to uh, learning more about what's what's going on with you and myself, one of our staff, will get back to you appropriately. Uh, secondly, uh, those that will be engaging, if you haven't done, you know, kind of know your neighbor details with us, uh, all of you that are an existing partner, We'll get another invitation to to kind of reconsider for this year. No, no pressure, uh, but it is slightly different. So don't just rubber stamp, you know, initial, initial sign, so on and so forth. Read through. Same thing with our engagements. Please understand that a little bit has changed. So if you thought you knew King's Council, <laughs> upgrade. It's we've shifted and we, we just don't want to leave anyone behind in terms of what we're doing and where we're going. And I might add just a, a little bit of, of what's going on uh, in terms of looking ahead this year. We fully expect to have an Africa Development Fund in the same way that we're doing with the last roundup. That is entirely massive. This is not one country. This is many different countries. We're looking at the continent type approach of a multi-decade infrastructure improvement to, to mitigate worldwide migration to mitigate uh, other countries that have come in and raped the indigenous people. You know, it's got to stop. We believe that Africa holds the, potentially the greatest financial opportunities of, of our lifetime still yet ahead. And those of you in energy, in infrastructure, anything with food, water, fuel, uh, those types of things that people got to have it to live. We'd love to learn more about what you've got going on and how what you're doing could apply perhaps in an altogether different jurisdiction. Think big, because I know this kingdom is beyond the United States of America. It is global in its impact. And we we owe it to every man, woman, and child to share some good news. Wouldn't you all agree? So with that, Amen. happy new year. Uh, love you all for, for being a part and doing a part and, and just being different, you know. Um, Keep a smile on your face and uh, we'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Bill, you also uh, wanted me to share the media magic that's coming up next week. Is that uh, cool. you want me yes. to yeah. Yes, if you haven't reinvented yourself and learning more about your story, that is absolutely, I'm sorry, Sandy, please. No, it's okay. Did you want to say anything? Because I know you 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 have pieces here that you think are, okay. 
<laughs> so um, next week is our eighth Media Magic Sales and Marketing Bootcamp. This is where we help you get a press kit in 48 hours or less. Um, we help you craft your expert power bio. Um, we work on your press release. We even talk about the trends of marketing in 2023. We have um, so many, we have a media panel this year. We have uh, a lot of really dynamic individuals. One of them has been a um, contributing author for Inc. Magazine, Authority Magazine, um, Buzz. So you get to connect with the media while you're there. If you've attended before, like I know Rui and Larry and some of you have attended before, um, you get to come at a, an alumni special rate. And if you are an ABC partner or have a you know honorarium with King's Council and Trust, um, please reach out to me directly because you also get a, a discount on that. You get a free upgrade to VIP. And it's MediaMagicBootCamp.com. Thank you, Dale. Sure enough. So I was about to, so thank you one and all. Go tell your friends. Exciting things are happening. See you shortly. And God bless you. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.